Hello everyone, welcome to Coding with Chandler, and today's video is going to be on my top five resources and how to start learning to code. This is really good for beginners, especially if you're just now getting into coding and you want to know how it works, and if you're a complete newbie, you have no idea how a freaking computer works, these are these great resources that will help get your feet wet, which is what I loved when I first started to learn to code. I'm actually still somewhat a beginner, to be honest with you. And these are my top resources that I would recommend that you utilize. And let me tell you, people who have used these resources have actually gotten jobs from using these to learn to code. Because at the end of the day, the main way to get a job is to know your shit. And one thing I noticed about these resources is that they are very straight to the point versus going to college for four years, which college honestly isn't straight to the point in my opinion. You take a bunch of like classes and you end up using half of the knowledge that you learned in college. This is straight to the point. Number one, my favorite resource to use, I still use it today, and it is Udemy.com. They have several classes, not only just for coding, but if you wanted to learn how to draw, if you want to learn how to start hacking, if you wanted to learn how to, I think, cook. My first course that I took on there was a Java development course. I took it before my coding boot camp, and literally my coding boot camp was actually like eight weeks, I believe. And after taking that course, um, I got through like the first five weeks of my coding bootcamp with like no problems and no stress because of that course because it already taught me that stuff and coding bootcamps are supposed to be really intense and hard because it's taking like two years of knowledge and putting it in such a small time window and I was able to learn that stuff so quickly because of Udemy. I personally think that Udemy can replace school. I don't know, is that sad? Is that I don't know if that's bad but it gives you a lot of good information and so many instructors are on there and they're helpful. You can comment questions or concerns or if you need some tutoring and they will respond to you. That's what I love about Udemy. The second one is a free resource that anybody has access to. What's really cool about this one is that they give you a certificate if you use this website for a certain period of time and it looks really good on your resume if you get a certificate from them and that is freecodecamp.com. Basically you can learn how to code on there and if you get a certain amount of hours in you can get like your full stack certificate and people have actually gotten jobs from using that website and from learning how to code. And so many people have started off learning how to code on this website and they have gotten far in life. So I would really recommend trying this out. It's totally free, you don't have to pay for four years of tuition, you don't have to, you don't even have to go on Udemy, to be honest with you. It is free. I still like, I still like Udemy, so don't disregard what I said because there's a free resource. Number three, I use this one a lot, and it is Code Academy. I learned, I used it to learn JavaScript and HTML, and let me tell you guys, I learned this stuff really fast. I actually built a website, um, however, I built this a long time ago, so I'm sure a lot of front-end developers would be like, ew, like this is a horrible website. But I learned how to build this within like a week after using Code Academy, And I will link it in the description so you can see it. If you're a mobile user, you probably cannot see this very well. I'm sure the HTMLs all clash together and stuff, but you can view it on your laptop if you want to. Um, it's called ChandlerKeys.com. I used it as like a resume website, and it is live right now, so feel free to check that out. But basically, imagine learning how to build a website like that within just taking a couple of courses on Codecademy for like three weeks or whatever. It's crazy on how fast you learn by just using these websites. And the, the really cool thing about these websites is they don't just tell you how to code. It's not literally staring at a board and listening to a teacher speak. They give you tasks and they give you real experience. You're actually writing legit code in an IDE and you're really building things that you can put on your resume. So please use these resources if you are trying to get your feet wet into coding. I almost promise you that you will get through a lot of things easier if you have used these resources. Number four, one of my favorite resources that I always tell people about, especially when it comes to learning Java specifically, um, I would recommend reading the Head First Java book. I used the second edition and I believe you can get the PDF online for free as well. I got it online for free. I'm not quite sure if it's still on there. Um, if it is, I will definitely put it in the description below. So make sure you click the description and see what sources I put in there because I promise you it might it just might be there. And the thing about Head First that I love is that they not only, um, it's a book, so yes, it tells you how to code. It's not necessarily giving you a bunch of tasks. But the cool thing is that it explains really complicated concepts like polymorphism and um, OOP. It explains that with like funny jokes and cool pictures and stuff. And they give you these really kindergarten level analogies that will break down how these things really work to help you understand. The thing is, the thing that I hate about learning in general is when someone gives me this, too, this advanced answer that just doesn't make sense with big words and all that stuff. And I don't, some people may not consider this a good thing, but they really dumb it down for you in Head First Java. They really break it down as if you are a child, but it makes perfect sense. I understand things like polymorphism and OOP very well because I was taught like that. 
and whenever I ask someone a question, especially someone who has a lot of experience, they give me a really broad answer, and even professors, they've given me answers that I just didn't quite understand. But having someone explain how it really works through a way that you would understand it is really helpful, so I really recommend giving that book a read. Last but not least, guys, and this one isn't that surprising, and I'd say the next top resource would be YouTube. The thing I like about YouTube is that you get so many different perspectives. So many people have coding channels. So many people make coding tutorials. So while some people's coding tutorials suck and they probably explained it in a horrible way, you could probably find someone out there that explained it in the right way that you would need to know and learn things properly. A lot of that stuff you, that's on Udemy is actually on YouTube. So I mean, you could probably find, you can find a lot of free stuff and honestly it is 100% free to learn to code. There is no excuse as to why you wouldn't learn to code unless you just don't have like a device like a computer or a, um, a cell phone. Sure, you can find almost anything on YouTube, in my opinion. I've seen so many cool documentaries, not even just coding. I mean, in general, a lot of things that I learned were off of YouTube, and people criticize me for it. They're like, oh, well, you learned all your stuff from YouTube. I'm like, at least I bother to learn it from YouTube instead of listening to a teacher all day long. Like, bleh. Anyways, long story short, these are my top five resources on great ways to start off learning how to code. These are great for beginners, and they are very affordable. Most of them is free. You don't have to pay on Udemy to get this, and I'm pretty sure you don't have to pay for that head first. Java book as well. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. Also, help a friend if you would like. Comment down a resource that helped you learn how to code very quickly because there's plenty of other things that can help people as well, not just the resources that I listed. So help everybody out. Make sure you share this video with a friend who may need it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in a couple weeks and comment down some video ideas if you'd like to see another tutorial. Thanks.